Then, okay, so I can give you many quotes. Now I'm responding to him. I can give you many quotes, but you will say that the words varna jati don't mean caste. Tell then tell me what's the Sanskrit word for it. Uh, but still, let me give you one. Okay, so mam hi partha vyapashritye pisyuha papa yona ha striyo striyo vaishyas tatha shudra tepi yanti param gatim. So this. Uh, uh verse actually means that uh, let me translate a bit for you it means that uh okay so the verse means that anyone uh the verse means that anyone uh maybe he is a he is even if that person is of sinful birth like the vaishyas shudras or women still if he um um uh, okay so if they give up to me then uh, they will also know the ultimate reality they will also get to the ultimate reality or spiritual enlightenment or whatever like some sense of that so i can just exactly translation is not possible here so it is talking about a spiritual equality it is saying that everyone is equal in uh, terms of like attaining spiritual enlightenment everyone can attain spiritual enlightenment but mm -hmm. It is assuming that when Vaishyas and Shudras are of sinful birth, that is the problem I have. Wait, can you say that again? But you got cut for a second. But what? But it is assuming that the women, Vaishyas and Shudras are of sinful birth. Oh, they're of sinful birth? Yeah, the word used the, is the... Papa Yonaha. It means a Papa Yonaha means from sinful vagina. So it means that one who is born of a sinful uh, womb or vagina or something, so basically sinful birth. Okay. So why are they saying that being a woman oh, is a birth. sinful birth? I'm not sure. Maybe but now some people will say that they are referring to social discrimination and also that is that can be one interpretation. Anyway, but okay. the woman, discrimination exists. Else, that is what I want to say. Who else? Who else is born of sinful birth? Um, women and who else? Vaishyas and Shudras, the two Varnas. The lower two varnas, apart from Brahmins and Kshatriyas. Uh, the lower castes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You have to say the English version. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. So you you brought and where where what text was that? That was in the Vedas. No, it was in Bhagavad Gita. Bah oh, the Gita. Ooh, okay, okay, cool. All right. So continue. now the Gita here is uh, like let me say now the Gita and the translation is given by an uh, Indian Swami, Swami Tejo Mayananda. So this is you. They can't say that this is a. Uh, huh, so they can't say that this is a. I mean, a propaganda translation by a. Uh, uh, what can I say? Some kind of. I mean, some English person or something. So because this is by a traditional religious person, this translation. Anyway, mm -hmm. now the Gita here is not promoting discrimination, but is rather talking about spiritual equality. But it can't be denied that there is an underlying assumption that women should rather than Vaish Vaishyas are of sinful birth. Even if Shudra mm. and Vaishya are based on labor division, how justified is it to assume that some professions, along with women, are of sinful birth? These are excellent things as well. There are excellent things as well as somewhat problematic things in scriptures. I try to take mm. the good and also acknowledge the problem so that we may correct it. So I said that. Now he is again saying me, the Kia and okay. half knowledge both are dangerous. So basically, there is no refutation oh. of what I said. So he is saying the Kia and half knowledge. So that is the Hindutva. Okay. So, so they you, don't. Do you know what Do you know what Tariya means? Do you want Do you know what Tariya means? No, I am not sure what it means. What it means. Okay, tar Tariya is like he's accusing you of Tariya. So he's accusing that you're a secret Muslim, that is lying. Oh, acha, acha. Because wow. because lying is he's saying that ta lying is part of Islamic tradition as a way to like attack. And he's accusing you of being a secret Muslim that is trying to destroy Hinduism. Okay, That's so anyone who criticizes uh, Hinduism, and so their uh, idea is so binary, so Hindu and Muslim. So someone who is not, I mean, someone mm -hmm. who is not appreciating everything about, I mean, even not yeah. everything, like someone who is just finding a flaw in some idea, They're he's Muslim. a Muslim. Like, uh, secret, what kind of yeah. idea is and that? If, yeah, know. like okay. everybody, everybody so they I can, hate Muslims. I can actually yeah. show you. So someone who thinks I'm a secret Muslim, I can show you my, uh, my nope, uh, the worshipping place. In my house, let me show you the worshiping is, oh, place show, in my house. Show now, us, please show. don't do some offensive thing <laughs> no, here. No, this but, is all Tariya. Yeah. This is all so this, is, oh. this is the this is this is the worshiping place in my house. My mother has given these flowers and all. Mm. Nope, no, okay. I don't believe you. Secret Muslim, you're secret. This is all yeah. lie. This is all a lie. <laughs> you you prepared all. This is all part of your Tariya. You're a secret Muslim. <laughs> 
yeah. No, but this is how this is how binary they think. You either love Hinduism or you. And in fact, in fact, caste system has been criticized by many Hindu religious gurus also. Some Hindu religious gurus supported it, but some Hindu traditional gurus actually talked severely against caste system. They have talked about right. caste system. Uh, right. I mean, they have talked all, against caste system. Actually. No, they're all all Muslim. of them. They're all secret Muslims. <laughs> okay, we're going. This is so yeah, much fun. So now he is t- telling this people like you uh, do do one or the other. The words you quoted is when Krishna uh, was explaining bhakti yoga. Since you seem to know that varna means occupation and you claim that you have read Gita, you should know that Brahmin's jnana yoga applies for Kshatriya karma yoga, for women and employees and uh, farmers, Vaishya and Shudra. Only bhakti yoga is applicable. So in the, uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, there are uh, four, I mean, different chapters. So Gyan Yoga means the chapter of knowledge. Okay, so they are saying that uh, the Brahmins and the Kshatriyas they they should uh, no the Brahmins should actually read uh, read the Gyan Yoga the chapter of knowledge and for Kshatriyas the chapter of action that is the Karma Yoga and the Bhakti that is the devotion the chapter of devotion it is for the women and the lower castes. Okay. So that is the Vaishyas and Shudras. Okay, so it, there is no discrimination basically, he is saying. So, but I mean, even if I say that this is labor based division and the chapters are different, but why they're assuming someone to be of sinful birth and why mm. women are included? Why is knowledge not for women? I mean, what, what kind of thing is that? I don't know. Right, right. Then he is again explaining a Brahmin or a Kshatriya they, they, they won't kinda, be a Brahmin or a Kshatriya. They kind of sound like a mm. whole bunch of like bigots um, in Western um, okay. s- societies who say, like, you know what, you are like inferior and we're going to still treat you nicely, but just accept that you're inferior. You know what I mean? Like they're like, they, you so, know, just no, because no, no. You... I mean, this, this, this guy said that he is a Dalit actually. I don't know. I mean, uh, this guy later on said that he is from a Dalit community, but says no, that Hinduism doesn't That's Taqiyah on his part. He's lying. He's trying to make it believable. <laughs> he's okay. saying Taqiyah. Okay. Now, now he is saying that a Brahmin or a Kshatriya. So actually, I mean, I'm not reading the whole comment. He's saying that a Brahmin or a Kshatriya is by the kind of activities they do. So since Brahmins, uh, I mean, do this religion, religious things and read religious scriptures, so they actually uh, go with the knowledge, okay, worship knowledge. So for them, the Gyan Yoga is there and uh, that is the chapter of knowledge. So if they don't do that and they start doing devotion, then they are actually not Brahmins, actually. And so uh, and the, for the Kshatriya, uh, the Karma Yoga is there, the chapter of action is there. So if they don't do it, actually, they are not the Kshatriya, so they are something else. So basically, he's going with this again, again the labor based division and all these things. Okay, have you understood it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, so he's trying to excuse uh, it as then, something that is not. Yani. He's trying to dis- He's trying to say this is not caste. This is something else. It's not based on. It's okay. not discrimination. It's just a. Uh, yeah. It's just yeah, categorizing yeah, yeah. people based on labor. He's trying to apologize. Yeah, but it's, my it's question is exactly- by the. Women- hmm. yeah, the main question is why are women being included with that? Women can't be a labor-based division, right? That's a very good women point because you can't you're- be a labor-based division. Why are women included with the lower caste? <sighs> like, but I mean, I mean, you are saying doctors. In- engineers and women i mean does it make sense like uh, obviously this no, is something no. based on birth like it is yeah. very clear from that. so he's trying to like he's trying to like do like like islamic reformists who try to do gymnastic argument to say like oh it's not slave they're servants and it's just like um con- there's contract and these are basically employ just the same as employee at the time they try to make slave in the quran mean something else to, like that's that's how the muslim reformers try to like misrepresent what the Quran is actually saying, trying to make it seem like every time the Quran is saying slave, they actually mean like there's contract involved, these are employees or something like that. And these are the same, doing the same thing, yeah. but you caught them because they're saying this is this is not caste, this is not discrimination, this is just a division of labor. But in this in these categories, they include women. And like you're saying, if this is division of labor, what division of labor is woman, <laughs> right? So that's a, yeah. yep, okay, good, you got them, you got them, all right. 